Hello everyone, my name is Abigail Afarabi and here with me is Romi Ige. Let's bow our heads in prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us through the, throughout this year. May your name be ever exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, as we read this devotional this morning, you shall bless us with attentive memory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. So, today is the 22nd of September 2024, and today's topic is Acquire, Acquire a skill. skill. The memory verse is taken from Exodus 35, verse 31, and it says, And, and he, he has, has filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom, in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. Abigail, please read Proverbs 22, verse 29, and 1 Samuel 16, verse 18. Proverbs 22, verse 29. Do you see a man skillful in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. 1 Samuel 16, verse 18. One of the young men answered, Behold, I have seen the son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who is skillful in playing, a man of valor, a man of war, prudent in speech, and a man of good presence, and the Lord is with him. One of the problems we have in Africa is that we would rather consume than produce. Production requires skills and many people lack them in today's society. They would rather study in universities and work in big companies. And while that is good, it is also good to acquire a skill. My dear child, you are the future of whichever country you are based in. Thus, don't rely on academics alone, learn something new. If there is any skill that you are genuinely interested in, pray about it, talk to your parents and enroll for it whenever you are on a holiday. In 2022, the federal universities in Nigeria were shut for months because of a lengthy strike, and many young people learned skills such as baking, tailoring, social media marketing, etc. and started earning money before the strike ended. Don't waste any holiday lying idle, surfing internet or visiting friends. Use your holiday wisely by learning valuable skills that, wouldn't, that you wouldn't ordinarily learn in the classroom. So what that Jerry is trying to tell us here is, we should spend our long holidays doing something reasonable. For example, learning skills, which will be called vocational skills. For example, barbing, hairdressing, baking, social media marketing, and other vocational skills. Daniel is trying to tell us that we should not stay at home during our long holidays, lying idle, or just chatting with friends, or surfing on the internet, that we should do something that will make us to earn money. Today's action point is, talk to your parents or your guardian about a skill that you would like to learn today. The quiz, the Bible quiz for today is, what is the other name for the wise men that visited Jesus? Please, if you know the answer, put it down in comments. Let's bow our heads for prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you for today. Father, I thank you because you allowed us to send this word of God across the nation. Father, may be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, as we have sent this word of God to everyone that is listening to us, Father, please, let it penetrate into their hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, let them exhibit it in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.